Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Timan and Winans that was played in Belgium in 1998. Timan had white pieces and he started with d4. Winans played knight to f6. c4, e6, knight to c3, and bishop to b4, and we have an Imza Indian defense. And after bishop to g5, we have a Leningrad variation of Nimtsa Indian defense. h6, attacking bishop, bishop to h4, c5, attacking white center, d5, gaining space, d6, e3, g5, attacking bishop, bishop to g3, and the knight to e4. Pressure is on the knight on c3. Queen to c2 defending. Queen to f6. Knight to e2. Pawn takes pawn. And now bishop to f5 is coming. And there will be discovered attack on the queen. Knight may be coming to c3 or maybe g3. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. How would you continue? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white. Are you ready? What did you find? White castled queenside Black captured on c3, knight takes bishop, knight takes knight, and how would you continue? Would you capture with queen or with pawn? Timan captured with queen. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. Pawn takes on c4, bishop takes on c4. Now the dust has settled. Black is a pawn up. Would you be rather black or white? The game continued. Bishop to e6. Bishop takes bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Rook takes on d6. Material is equal. Threat is rook takes on e6. King to e7. Rook from h to d1. And let's have a good look at this position. All white pieces are mobilized. And black pieces are fast asleep. Mm. If knight to c6, there is check and white would capture pawn on b7. King to f6 was spread. f4. Opening f file. Knight to c6. F takes in g5. Pawn takes in g5. Rook to d7. Attacking pawn on b7. b6. This is also preventing king from going back. Rook to f1. Check. King to g6. Rook to d6, attacking knight and pawn on e6. Defending, but now communications between rooks are cut. White played bishop to e5 and black resigned. If rook goes to h7, for example, then rook to f8 is winning. If rook goes to g8, then g4, rook to f6 is coming, rook to d7, and so on. That's why at move 24 in this position, black resigned. In conclusion, we can say development matters more than one pawn, doesn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. 
I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.